Here's how to uninstall a program from your PC. Go to the search bar, type control panel, then click on the control panel to open. Now over here you find these commands, there is the programs command and under it it's written uninstall a program. Now click on that and it will take you to this list. Now from here you can select the app that you want to uninstall. So for example, I'll be uninstalling this driver booster. So click on that, then click uninstall. Now it will ask you whether you want to uninstall this program. Click on yes. It will ask you whether you're sure and follow the instructions that you're given. Click on yes. And then it will start uninstalling the program. Then afterwards, it will tell you that it was successfully removed from your computer. Click on OK and you have successfully uninstalled the program from your computer. Did you know that you can shut down your computer by using your keyboard? Now to do this, just click Alt F4. But if you had a running program, a program that's running, and you clicked on Alt F4, what it will do is that it will close that program. Then if you click Alt F4 again, like so, that will pop up and it will ask you what you want to do with your computer. Now you can shut down, you can switch user, sign out or restart, then click enter or click on OK. And, you and whatever you choose will be done. Here's how to speed up your computer and free up valuable space on your hard disk. So press Windows R, then type in temp, then click on OK. So this is what is taking up your disk space and slowing down your computer. Now select all by clicking Ctrl A, then click on delete from your keyboard. Here's how to get rid of junk files when you're running low on disk space. Go to start bar, click on settings, system, then choose storage. Now the storage sense, if it's turned off, turn it on then configure storage sense now over here you can get rid of all the junk files you have immediately you can actually click on free up space now and it will clean your pc right away here's how to zip multiple files in your pc so go to where you've saved your files then select all by clicking ctrl a right click and go to send to then choose compressed or zip folder and a new zip folder will appear. Now you can choose to rename it. So I'll rename mine zipped folders. Then click enter. If you want to extract files from a zip folder, just right click, then go to extract files. Click on OK. And then a new folder with the extracted files will appear. And if you open it, here are all the files that you had zipped earlier. For more tips and tricks, kindly follow us. Let me show you how to convert a JPEG image file to a PDF file and then turn it into black and white. So go to where you've saved your image, then right click on it and select edit with photos. Then under enhance, select vanilla, this one. Then go to adjust and under light, increase the contrast and reduce the exposure just to give it a little bit more boost. Then Click on save a copy. Now a copy of that image will be saved in your files. To convert a JPEG image into a PDF file, go to the print icon. Then under printer, make sure you've selected Microsoft print to PDF. Then click on print. Give it a name. I'll give mine rock. Then click on save. And that image will be saved as a PDF just like that and if I click on it to open you can see it's a PDF now another way to change up an image into a black and white image you can do using Photoshop now go to image adjustment then click on desaturate and by doing so the image is turned to black and white another way is by going to channels then click on the blue channel and again, you'll see that your image has been desaturated and it's in black and white. Then click on file, go to save as, save on your computer, 
then change the file format to Photoshop PDF. Then click on save. And that image will be saved as a PDF.